All right, I gotta get out of here. Cause this alarm keeps going off. And I gotta see what's going on. This is crazy. This is like the second time this has happened in less than a week or less than seven days because te technically today is the start of the week. But this is like, I don't know if there's a, a malfunction with the system or if someone keeps pulling it or, you know, people are smoking in their unit and they're not supposed to. So it's triggering the alarm. There is absolutely no smoke out here. Uh, and I guess the worst part about it is these false alarms, typically they desensitize people from uh, really paying attention to an emergency situation and they ignore it. Uh, for instance, there's no one out here, no one. There are cars here, so I know people are here, but no one has uh, got, gotten out of their apartment because of the alarm because they don't believe it they don't trust it so pretty soon here the fire department is going to show up and they're going to turn off the alarm they're probably not even going to check they're probably just going to turn it off because they are here every week for the same alarm and maybe it's just my building i don't know uh because i don't really see this being a problem with other buildings uh, but I'm just gonna take a quick lap and, and see if there's anything we got maintenance coming over here he's right over here like just like people are just not phased by this at all it's unreal but uh, it's interesting because I did receive an email this morning about a problem with the banking system or a particular banking partner or service that I brought to you. Um, I brought a video to you guys a few days ago about this and it was particularly tied to and connected to uh, Walmart, which apparently Walmart is, uh, they offer this service with Green Dot and people were getting they were complaining about their sorry about that about to drop my damn microphone I was trying to put it inside my shirt so you didn't get all that wind noise but they were I think the alarm just went off oh the maintenance shut it off so let's see let's see if I can get an answer Is that like a, is that a real alarm or is it like? It's malfunctioning now. Got it. If it's real, would we hear it in our unit? Yeah. So when we just hear it in the hallway, it's. It's just the panel malfunctioning. Got it. They're working on it. Okay. So he says it's just the panel. He also really didn't seem like he gave two craps about it, but either way, he shut it off. Um, and so I brought you this video about this issue with Green Dot and it was closely tied to Walmart. And it's funny because this morning I was actually logging into some of my uh, bank accounts, my online access, and I wasn't able to gain access to my Wells Fargo and my Bank of America. And the reason being is that it has been a very long time since I have accessed online from my laptop. So uh, I used, usually log in from my phone, but I got a new phone and my fingerprint login needs to be reset. So long story short, I'm on a computer logging in and I forgot my password, mainly because they make you change a password so often that now I can't remember what my password is because it's not a password that I would normally use. It's some obscure combination of unique characters for increased security. 
well done because you've done such a good job of security i can't even get in so that's neither here nor there what ultimately happened was i had to reset forgot password and i did that with bang of america got in no problem whatsoever i did it again with wells fargo it accepted my new password but it wouldn't allow me into the account so i have to now rectify and solve this problem and my options are call or visit i prefer to visit so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to go to a wells fargo branch and solve this problem with the bank manager or associate or whomever within the, the branch granted we know that brick and mortar bank locations are closing granted not every single one will close but odds are there will be a reduction they will reduce their footprint and people may have to travel greater distances to access branches especially if you have a problem and if you're not in a large major metro city area then you're probably going to have a further distance to travel to get to a, a branch then hopefully the branch actually has physical employees and the list goes on and on but here's the deal if you or someone you know have been are affected by an outage similar to green dot or chime or any of these other fintechs which are essentially banking services that allow online access with no physical location but they're not actually banks they are banking services they themselves have their own banks that they work with but they themselves are not actually banks they are banking services big difference there and again i made a full video on it and if you guys want to check it out then make sure you watch it after this video but here's the thing i had a problem with bank of america i had a problem with wells fargo i solved one of the problems with bank of america myself online the problem I have with Wells Fargo was, has yet to be resolved. Therefore, what is my option? Call or visit? I prefer to visit. I want the in-person experience. I want to get my problem solved by a human being. I want confirmation while I'm there. And maybe uh, engage in a, uh, a conversation that could potentially help me in some other way that I wasn't even really aware of just yet. So that's what I'm going to do. But what can you not do with Green Dot? What can you not do with Chime? What can you not do with these, these online neo banks, these FinTech banking services? You can't actually go to a physical location. So look, you guys do what you want. But what I'm saying is I would not rely on solely 100% a virtual platform for my banking solution especially when they're not even a bank that's number one number two if that was my primary go-to for banking that's fine cool all good but i would definitely be diversified in more than one bank that does have a physical brick and mortar location for sure and even with a bank, with a brick and mortar location, I would be diversified from there too. For instance, I told you, Bank of America and Wells Fargo. Yeah, sure. Two banks that most people would uh, turn their nose up at. But with that in mind, they're also two of the largest banks besides Chase and uh, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, PNC maybe, truest maybe but i'll tell you this right now no matter where i am in the country potentially no matter where i am in the world i'll more than likely be able to find a bank of america or wells fargo or both so that's my reasoning and logic behind it take that for what it is 
but either way uh it looks like we had a false alarm situation here and uh who knows maybe the problems that the people are facing with green dot is a false alarm situation but I don't really see an instance where people are banking with non-banks and just banking services connected to Walmart, seeing a disruption and an interruption to gaining access to their accounts and their money and their funds and their paychecks as a false alarm. I just don't see that. I see this as being a significant issue that needs to be resolved and hopefully it is soon uh, for the sake of the people who are having this impact to their money. I don't think anybody enjoys having their money messed with in a negative way. That's just my thoughts.